Hi, I'm Paul the Paul from Paul the Calm, and I'm going to show you tonight that uh, Sid Meier's Railroad uh, work, uh, works on a Mac. Well, first of all, small apps, kind of cool stuff, lots of games, stores, some big M6 games, but especially Windows games. If you can click on all ports, you see the whole list of games. It's about 450 games uh, till now. It's getting uh, added daily, so. Well, we're gonna focus at the moment on uh, the simulated game, this is my railroads. Click on here, you come on the main page of uh, of this game. If you don't own game yet, you can get it from Game is Good just by clicking on the icon here. And you can get it up here. It's just five euros, so, well, whatever. Um, well, you can download the, the file up here. Just click on the file and uh, can download it and extract it and you get uh, this file below here just uh, double click it and it will say to install windows software I'll click on install windows software go to your downloads where you can uh, download your Sidmise Railroads file from Gamesgate if you have the Gamesgate version if you have the DCD version uh, you go to your CD and run the setup in AXA Click on uh, choose, click on next, 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 install. Well, this will take a while. Be right back. Well, when it's finished, you click on finish and you can remove the temporary internet files. Railroads.exe, that's my exe file. Um, it's probably not needed, but uh, if you have trouble uh, w with creating the profile, you can set the desktop integration tab up here using the go to one CFG. And then the desktop integration tab, and uh, you can put it to your uh, your documents. Clicking on uh, browse and then your yeah, your home folder, so users, home folder, and put it on your documents. Click OK or whatever. So um, I think it's doing with the newest wine skin it automatically, but just in case, check it out uh, when installing the game. You know how to uh, to change it. All right. I think this go automatic, so I think you don't uh, need to use this anyway. But um, if something runs wrong, you can check this out. This is just for uh, information. All right. Well, what you have to do next after installation? Um, well, if you have the game skate version, you just run the game. And it will ask to, uh, oh yeah, the first time it's always uh, give the crash. Second time it tries to, uh, it will ask you to activate the game. So you have all our processes. Alright. Here, it tries to activate it. Well, you have to get the serial from Gamersgate and copy it and paste it in here. You click on activate and then the game will activate. You can click start and the game will start. It's very simple. However, in my case, um, I activated the game too many times. The reason why is because I had to test all kind of engines and every time it's... Um, Wine sees the new engine as a, a new system, so the serial Sigurum will say, "Hey, that's not a system." So uh, that's why I have activated too many times. So I'm gonna show you uh, for the CD owners, <coughs> uh, the ones who have the the illegal uh, CD version of the game, you can get uh, the no CD patch from. Uh, game copy world to game burn world show package content 
just uh, get that uh, that file <coughs> and extract it. That's a file, and it contains this this file, this NoCD patch. Just right-click on the wrapper, show package command, press C, program files, <coughs> railroads, and then you just drop it in here. It's safe to replace it. You click replace, and then uh, and that's that. So this is only for the CD version. If you have the game skit version, what I just said, activate the game and it will run fine. So, um, now, it won't run right away, so I'm going to show you what happens. Just double click the game. You think, hey, it, uh, it's get a white screen so it will start, but no. You only get quickly, yeah, quickly this, and you say, what the? But, uh, yeah, you just wait a few seconds, like 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And you click Command Q and it will exit. Well, after doing that, um, if it's correctly, the game has created now a profile. So you can get there to your, go to your home folder and then your documents. And then in your My Games, there should be a profile called Sid Myers Railroads. So you can double click it and then you see a settings at any file. So you have to um, um, edit this file. The reason why is that uh, the V blank sync should be turned off, put to zero. And if you're doing that, you won't getting that weird sound in that white screen. So if I now start the game now, um, it is the meaning that the game will start now without problems. So we'll check that out right now. Remember that you use ScreenFlow, the program I use to capture this video. It doesn't handle the resolution change. So um, you'll probably see it in a corner now, but you will see it full screen as I see full screen now. Right. do this the first time but our 
to start the game right now because it automatically automatically wins the mouse. I don't know if it's my mouse at the moment, but perhaps my gamepad is doing weird. Uh, Oh, 